Hey, I'm David. And I'm Chef. Shut up. In a recent episode of Free Stress Test, you may have seen one of our new recruits taking advantage of the vast educational opportunities available in Scientology. C is for Cadet Org, where our children starve to death. First of all, that's proprietary information, so go ahead and put $300 into your computer screen right now. Now, I know that all of you watching this want to know more about Scientology. What sort of incredible things can you learn from us? Through our simple techniques of mind control lasers. Also known as applied scholastics. Shut up. Well, today I'm going to give you a little taste. It's the Scientology history of the universe. It's dictated by our incredibly erudite founder, L. Ron Hubbard. A man with so many credentials, he started inventing some just to keep up. Okay, let's begin. So four quadrillion years ago, an unsuspecting yet extremely good-looking thetan with perfect teeth heard a loud snapping sound, followed by a flood of luminescence. Then he saw a chariot followed by a trumpeting cherub. After some more snapping sounds, this extremely intelligent and sexually attractive thetan was overwhelmed by darkness. This represents the gateway opening to the present universe. It's so logical. Shortly after the beginning of the universe, as you would expect, there was sort of a brass dog in a sitting position, and any thetans who got around towards the dog's mouth got kind of a shock and uh, got passed through the dog and out through its rear end. Okay, moving on. Evil aliens called the Markavians took a bunch of thetans in a big train station, threw them into a railway carriage, and started yelling at them like, you still here? Get out! Get off this train! We hate you! And then, uh, when you're killed and dead, keep coming back. And you get out, don't ever come back. But come back again. But I hear the dining car was excellent. Like many people, you are probably obsessed with looking at cereal boxes. That have pictures of cereal boxes. That have pictures of cereal boxes. And so forth. If you've ever wondered why this is, it's because there used to be a thetan trap that looked exactly like this. And when the victim would get obsessed with this and wind up in the box, it would explode! If you're like me, you're probably sick and tired of hearing about evolution from a bunch of crackpots relying on nothing more than long hours of study and rigorous experimentation backed up by mountains of verifiable data. Well, fuck all that. In Scientology, we'll explain to you the simple process by which man arose, starting with the clam, then leading to the weeper, which is a different kind of clam, I guess, and then the sloth, and the ape, and Piltdown Man, then the Cave Man, and finally Modern Man, in all his glory, with a tooth right in the middle of his face. Uh, uh this doesn't exist. Nope, nope. Nope, never heard of it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's not on the internet either, so don't go looking for it. But we hold the copyright on it, so don't you go stealing it. But it doesn't exist. Let's finish up with something a little more rational. Sometime between 319 trillion to 256 trillion trillion years ago, which I guess is before the beginning of the universe, or something, invaders from Helatrobus, with the help of the Hoi Polloi, were a bunch of intergalactic carnies, with a pink striped white shirt and sleeve garters as their uniform, open a big amusement park with a tunnel and a roller coaster and a ferris wheel, and for some reason gorillas all over the place. Usually seen in their natural environment of a roller coaster car, where sometimes they would also have monkeys and elephants, which also existed 319 trillion years ago. I don't know why they did this, but they probably ripped off the idea from a bunch of other aliens named the Brothers of the Bear, I think, who were the ancestors of the Hoi Polloi, and they used a bear to do the same thing. Except with bears. Oh man, how much longer? Just a bit, hang in there. How much more of this shit can there be? Well, why not come down to one of our immaculate, well-staffed ideal orgs and find out? One of our criminally underpaid staffers, who you'll find hiding under a desk, will be glad to help you. And they'll do it with a smile, otherwise they get the hose again. Just ignore the masked protesters and bring your checkbook. And hey, if you're rich and famous enough, maybe you'll get to meet me, David the Space Pope. Just ask one of the armed goons following my father around. They know how to get in touch. Just kidding, I don't know those guys. Why would I? Chef, where's my lawyer?